What is up, all stars, four, five, six, and everybody else out in the wonderful internet world? Welcome to So Hills Kids. I'm super glad that you're here today, and we're gonna jump into lesson number two of our series on what is God like. And we know that God is holy and good and loving. He is just and kind and merciful. But today we're gonna look at um, some consequences of sin. Yeah, not very fun. We don't like to talk about that, but we need to look at it and realize that God is still good despite our failures. So today we're going to look at Moses. So if you remember last week, um, Mo Moses and the people of Israel, they were going to go scout out Israel and check it out. And then they were like, no, no way, Jose, that's not working. Um, those people, we can't beat them. And so because of that, they ended up getting stuck in the desert. Right? They were stuck wandering around. And so this story meets us right there where they're stuck wandering around. Let's see what ends up happening when we get there. All right, so I'm outside, guys. I want to do a little bit of a dramatic recreation of the Bible story for you guys today. Um, you can find this Bible story in Numbers chapter 20, or you can wait till the end and watch the full thing. But this is the, um, the definitely not exactly what happened, but I'm going to try and do a version of it. It went something like this. I'm Moses. Moses, we're in the wilderness, and we're all going to die of thirst because we don't have any water. That's what you get for complaining. We don't like you, Moses. Help. What do I do, God? Hi, I'm God. Moses, I think you should go talk to that rock over there. Just tell it, and it'll start flowing water. Okay, let's go do it. So you see here, guys. God commanded Moses to talk to the rock and it would flow with water. But something different happened. You see, Moses was probably fed up. I don't know about you guys if you've had anybody complaining and, and moaning and whining all the time. And it's just really annoying. And so I can see Moses just fed up. And so God tells him to speak to the rock and it will start flowing with water. So it was supposed to look something like this. All right, rock, let's get some water. Yay, water. But that's not how it went. It went more like this. Yes. Water. Okay, okay, sorry. That was a little bit dramatic, but the reality is the people of Israel complained to Moses over and over, and you have to imagine Moses is stuck in the wilderness now. He can't go into the promised land because the people keep complaining, and they just keep on keep on whining, even though God has done so many things for them. And so finally he's fed up, and he just smacks the rock. The Lord just speak to it, and he smacks it. He hits it out of frustration, out of anger, and out of disobedience to God. And God isn't happy about that. You see, God gave Moses a very specific instruction, and he did not follow it. And the reality is, we all run into things like that, where we receive instructions and we just don't follow them because they're not fun and we don't want to. You see, Moses, he had a consequence for that. He didn't go into the promised land. He did not get to see it. So many other people did, but because of his disobedience, he was not allowed to enter into the promised land when the people finally arrived. You see, when we're faced with choices, we have to understand that sometimes we may face consequences, right? We may do things we know we shouldn't, and the consequences to bear are, well, it's just reality. Because the reality is God is a just God. And if you don't know what that means, he, uh, he works in perfect justice, right? If somebody does something wrong, they go to jail, right? Someone steals, they go to jail. And so if somebody sins against God, who is our creator and our Lord, well, the reality is they face consequences. And so we have to understand that sometimes in life we're going to face these consequences. But just like Moses, we have to understand that the Lord still loves us. You see, the reality is Jesus came down from heaven sent by the Lord to save us from these sins, to redeem us, right? To purchase our sins and purchase us so that we can live forever with him. So the consequences of sin, I mean, we may still face them, right? You may lose your video game privileges or get a spanking or, uh, you know, get grounded or whatever, because the reality is there's still consequences for the wrong. But the great news is that despite all of that, the Lord still loves us deeply and he does not count those sins against us because of what Jesus did on the cross. So remember that, guys. Whether we're up or down, whether we're doing great or whether we're struggling, the Lord still loves you very, very much. And he wants to see you do good things because what is God like? He is holy, he is good, and he is merciful. 
So don't forget that, guys. I will see y'all next week on our next episode. Don't forget, if you want to watch a Bible video, it's right after this. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. The Israelites did not trust God to lead them into the Promised Land. So, God made them wander in the wilderness for 40 years. God's people set up camp, but there was no water to drink. And the people complained and argued with Moses. Why did you bring us here? They asked. We will die here, and so will our animals. The people wished that they had never left Egypt. The wilderness had no grain, no fruit, and no water. So Moses and Aaron went to the tabernacle to meet with God. God told Moses and Aaron to stand in front of all the people and speak to a rock. God said that water would come out of the rock. Then the people and the animals would have water to drink. So Moses called all the people together and he stood in front of that rock. But instead of talking to the rock, he told the group, listen up. Do we have to bring water out of this rock for you? And then Moses hit the rock twice with his staff and water poured out and the people and the animals drank. But God was angry that Moses and Aaron did not obey his instructions. They did not honor him as holy by trusting in his power. So God said that Moses and Aaron would not lead the Israelites into the promised land. Instead, God would give his people a new leader. Moses disobeyed God and did not enter the promised land. We have all disobeyed God by sinning, but God gave us his son, Jesus. Jesus always obeyed God. And when we trust in him, Jesus brings us into God's kingdom forever.